All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to bypass MDM lock on an iPhone 12. This is running iOS 18. Um, almost any iOS works for this, but here is the demo. So make sure you first download IMDM Pro 3 and you get registered for this tool. Once you're registered, um, you wanna connect your device. But anyways, download this tool first. Then once you have the phone, wipe the phone and do not do anything else with the phone. Do not connect it to Wi-Fi or anything like that. Here's what you want to do. This is the foolproof method because there are some devices where they have issues bypassing when you connect to Wi-Fi and then go to the remote management screen. You don't want to get to that point. So wipe the phone. Then on here, once you open the program, just leave it to the side. And then what you also want to do is right click, go to File Explorer. Once you open this up, you basically want to go to this directory, C Program Files x86, default company name, which is um, just a weird name, but I forgot to rename it when I made the tool. So it's just default company name IMDM Pro 3 setup and then lib iMobile device W. So this is the folder you want to be in. Once you're in this folder, you want to click on that, type in CMD and hit enter. When you're in this folder, if you scroll down, you'll see a file called or an exe iDevice activation. That's the very first thing we want to run first. So let's hook this up really quick. To the computer all right you can see it's connected and i'm not connected to wi-fi i just erased the phone that's it on here you want to find the program iDevice activation drag and drop it put space activate this will just give the uh the phone the activation file um, without going to the remote management screen and checking for remote management lock dash D. So this is for debug. So you can see the information, like what's happening in the background. Run it, give it a second. Once it, succe once it succeeds, you should see something. Okay, so now you should see this device successfully activated. If it does not activate, it will say activation lock, which is a different lock. We are bypassing MDM, not iCloud lock. So there is no iCloud lock, which is why it says successfully activated the device and it's still on the screen. It's not gonna go to the home screen or anything like that. It just passes over this file right here, this activation ticket into the phone, which is the activation record. So then you wanna go back to the tool, click detect and it will work. And you can see it says activated here and you can detect the device now because a lot of people have this issue. Well, not a lot, but maybe the 1% of people do. Then you wanna check to see if the device is registered with IMDM Pro 3, click yes. If it's not, make sure you do that. I'm going to register really quick. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back. And once it's registered, we're gonna continue on. All right, I'm back. I just got it registered with my own tool. Now it is in the server, so it will go through. So you wanna do this again. Do detect, shows activated, but we didn't do anything on the phone yet. So do you wanna check if it's registered? Yes, check if it's registered. And you can see it's registered now. Click OK. When it's going through that process, before that pop-up goes away, it creates the modified backup for you. And that's it, easy as that. Remove MDM lock, wait two seconds. It runs the exploit and you're done. And that's it. And now you can set up the device. You can disconnect it. And I'll show you the rest of the process here. Just wait till the device turns on. Kind of confusing, but as long as you follow the procedure, you install the program, you register with the tool, everything else will work just fine. So let's wait till this boots up all the way. It basically sends a modified backup to the phone, which allows it to be activated without going to the remote management screen. Continue, and now you can finish up the rest of the stuff. So CPR, I connect to Wi Fi here. Wait two seconds, wait two seconds. You can even use 3U tools at this point to skip through the rest of the screen. Continue, and it's not gonna show remote management because it already has the modified backup restored to it. And there you go, and that's it. But let's skip through this really quick. And that's the issue that some people have. 
because you connect to Wi-Fi on the phone and then there are some MDM locks where it actually prevents you from using the USB port. So this is the best way to do it, to make sure it goes through. And we're done. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good rest of your day. Bye now.